Post-editing tutorial number five, localization. Localization is a common process in translation. It involves adapting the cultural references of the source text for the target audience, who otherwise would not have the elements necessary to understand. In post-editing, localization is just as essential because AI cannot automatically translate idioms without the help of a post-editor. In light post-editing, just remove any passage that will not be understood by the target audience and rephrase it. No need to brainstorm for hours to find the perfect equivalent. Keep the localization work light and simple, aiming for an acceptable translation quality. To properly localize a translation, start by spotting the units of measurement in the text. Date, temperature, distances, currency, etc. Are they in the right format? Do they match the standards of the target country? If not, convert the unit. Unless otherwise instructed, use American units. Also, replace any terms or phrases that are too location specific and aim for more generic words. The post editor's work in localization can also include very specific challenges, like what to do when there is humor involved. Here, it's even more difficult since it is a joke based on French pronunciation. And unsurprisingly, the machine translation is not good. In light post editing, there is obviously no time for transcreation, unless the comic equivalent immediately comes to mind and you can transcribe the joke perfectly into the target language. In most cases, this is a much more complex process. You will have to translate the joke literally, opting for the most logical and comprehensible solution. Keep in mind that it will always be better for the target reader to have missed the humorous aspect but understood the general meaning rather than leaving the text in the source language or not putting anything at all and having a blank in the translation. Finding the right compromise between localizing all the confusing passages and sticking to light post-editing is not easy, especially if you are new to post-editing. But with practice, you'll find the right and most effective intervention. For more post-editing tips, check out the other Spottle tutorials.